today I'm gonna teach you how to make a printmaking plate. This is styrofoam and we are gonna carve into it. We are gonna use our wonderful leaf sketch, whichever one you like best, a piece of tracing paper and an ebony pencil to carve our wonderful printmaking plate. Hello, my talented artists. to trace the leaf image that you like best onto a piece of tracing paper. To do this, we're going to use ebony pencil. Ebony pencil is a great tool for drawing because it's very soft and it makes a wide range of dark to light. So my leaf draw sketch is very, very big. It doesn't really fit great like that. I want my stem in it. So I'm gonna turn it diagonal. I still want the edges of my leaf and I will get most of the stem. So now I'm gonna trace it and I wanna be very careful to get all the details that I drew and to draw it right over the line. And to do that, I need to keep my eyes on my paper. Don't just go into automatic pilot and draw what you think is there. Draw what's really there. Let's speed it up so that it goes faster and you can get to your part sooner. Actually, I remembered that the tape is useful for checking to see if you have remembered to go over all of the details, but make sure you only use a piece of tape on one side. Okay, let's get back to speeding up the video. When you think you are done, before you peel it off, I want you to lift up and just see if you got everything. I forgot this little line, which I'm going to add. All right, the ebony pencil is on this side and that's the side that needs to touch our plate. The plate that we're using for this printmaking assignment is made of styrofoam, but plates can also be made out of wood or metal or plexiglass, any kind of plastic. The next step is you're gonna take your plate, make sure it has your name on it on the back. If you have that tape still, peel it off because we need to flip over our tracing paper. We need the ebony pencil side, the darker side, to be in contact with the styrofoam plate because that is how we're gonna transfer the image. And then you can use that tape again, to rub it, hold it over. And now we don't wanna use our ebony pencil anymore. So put the ebony pencil away and we are gonna use our regular number two pencil and we need to go over all those lines. But you can do it gently. You don't wanna rip through your tracing paper or your styrofoam. We're just gently going right over those ebony pencil lines and the drawing will transfer onto your plate, your styrofoam plate. Not a plate you can eat off of, a plate, a plate, a plate. <laughs> a plate that you can make prints from. That's what we're making. It's like a stamp. You can make more than one print because you are using a plate. All right, let's speed up again. To 
check to see what you have drawn and what you have not drawn, you can lift. Don't take the tape off, but just lift it up and see what you have drawn. You may have gone over a line and it doesn't show up. The reason why is that you have not aimed. You kind of have to be like an archer and aim really carefully and draw right over your ebony pencil. Ebony pencil allows that drawing to transfer onto your styrofoam plate. So you have to be really careful to aim, draw right on top of your ebony pencil line. See, if you just draw a line like that, it won't, it won't show up. Let's see if I was able to get all of it traced. I think I did. Once you have traced all of yours, you need to peel off your tracing paper. And for now, why don't you just save it in your leaf sketch little packet, put it in your folder. And you're gonna take your number two pencil again and you're going to carefully carve the lines that you just transferred over. You don't want to poke all the way through the styrofoam, but if you do, it's not the end of the world, just ease up and you are gently making a carving you're digging in a little bit you need it to be pretty deep and if you're unsure if you have made it deep enough come show me and I will tell you I know I'll probably tell you go over it again and make it a little bit deeper All right, I think I carved in deep enough. Oh, nope, I missed a spot. Look carefully, make sure you got all those lines carved in, make sure they're deep enough. I'm gonna go over this line, make sure it's deep enough. I think I'm done now, looks good. Let's get these plates carved because next week we're gonna use this bad boy, a brayer, and we are going to ink our plates and make some prints. So fun.